Hello, welcome back again, Super Service of Prisms, last one, number four, the cylinder, same thing, stop the video, decide how many surfaces and how many types of surfaces we have. Okay, you ready? Press go. How many surfaces? Three. There are three surfaces on a cylinder. One, two, and the curvy bit. That's what the cow says. Three. You should have said there are two circles, but the circles are congruent. That's going to save us half the time on the circles. Plus, there's one rectangle. So, time to draw pictures. You know how it works. So then I've got a circle, a circle, and then I'm going to have the rectangle here. Okay? Now we know the circle, that's R. We know the circle, that's R. So we know it's pi R squared and a pi R squared. And those answers are the same. On the rectangle, what's important is this. This dimension here matches the height on here. This one here, the base, is equal to the circumference of the circle. That is what's important. It's the circumference of the circle. Okay? So, B, we know the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r, which is equal to c. So then if I want the area, which is b times h, we know that b is 2 pi r, and we know h is that one. So that is the formula for finding out. But I don't want you to memorise the formula, I want you to understand this, and that when you forget what the formula is in letters, you can build the formula. This is the whole idea of doing all these. You're building the formulas all the time because you know your 2D shapes so well from 7th, 6th, 5th grade and the review this year. So you're building these formulas. You don't have to memorise them. Okay? Only memorise the 2D stuff and then apply it to the 3D. Okay? That's what I've been trying to get you to do. This is why I made you set out all those questions you thought were just easy, I can do in my head. Okay, so we can build formulas that are more complicated later. So we want two circles, so it's pi r squared, pi r squared, so it's two lots of pi r squared, plus the rectangle, which is two pi r h. Now I've not gone through an example with numbers, but there's one at the top of the page of Reteach 95 worksheet, you can glue that one in, because it's quite straightforward, because it's the building of the formulas that's important. You substituting numbers into a formula, you know how to do, you know how to rearrange, I have faith in you. So uh, remember to glue in uh, the next the uh, example at the bottom of these notes. And that's the end of the surface area of prisms. Next will be surface area of pyramids.